And now that you have seen, I've installed the motors and ESCs and I've run all the cables inside. Next part is very interesting and is of course one of the most important part. That is where you have to pay most attention. And that is how to make connections of everything on your flight controller. That is this cheap KK board V2.0, KK2 flight controller board. All right. All right. Now for the connections of KK board, I'm going to go very, very quickly right here. This is the top of the KK board, which will stay on top. Okay. And arrow pointing to forward on the left side, you have AERT and channel five. That is aux. Okay. Uh, aileron, elevator, throttle, rudder, and aux or channel five. Okay. And on the right side, you have eight outputs. So you can actually make an octocopter as well. So you can make bicopter, tricopter, quadcopter, hexacopter, and octocopter. You can make all of these with KK board. We're making bicopter, so we will be using four outputs. Two for the ESCs, the first two for the ESCs, and second two for the servos. And then we'll configure the KK board for the bicopter or dual copter mode, so it will know that the first two outputs are ESCs, and the second two outputs are servos. Uh, e right ESC out one, left ESC out two. That's the right ESC, that's the left ESC. Okay, and this is the right servo, and this is the left servo. My receiver has a three pin cable, okay, which is coming from aileron, and signal is always inside, so I'm just gonna put it on the aileron on the KK board, all right? And then uh, I will see elevator throttle rudder elevator throttle rudder so this is gonna go this way so only one cable is going to ch uh, signal only okay elevator white red throttle and black rudder all right that's it now if you want to do flight modes um, if you don't do now if you don't do uh, channel 5 flight mode you can configure your KK board to stay in auto leveling mode all the time, always. You can choose that option. And that's what I will highly, highly recommend because auto level is definitely gonna help you fly this thing better. Okay, without auto leveling, you will be dancing with the bicopter. La, la, la. You will be like, la, 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 la. You will be doing cha-cha with the bicopter without, uh, you know, self-stabilization. So keep it always on, all right? Now every connection is done. And the only thing left is to power the f flight controller and servos, okay? So what I will do is I will power the uh, receiver with the U back, okay? And uh, I will use one cable, uh, only black and red, and I will plug it anywhere in the, uh, like, out eight, let's say, out eight. So making sure uh, polar polarity is right, okay? Red is in the middle and ground is on the minus. And I will, I will plug it to, to the aux channel because I'm not gonna use aux, I'm not gonna use flight modes. KK board only had two flight modes, manual or auto leveling. You don't want manual. If you wanna do the flipping and like feel like you're flying manual, you can do it in auto leveling mode on KK2 board even because all you can do is, you know, put in the wrong PIDs and you will have surprisingly good aerobatics coming out in auto leveling mode. So, all right, let me recap the connections. The right side are the outputs, okay? ESCs and servos on the right side on the output. After that, my u back is also on one of the outs and a cable from one of the outs is coming to the left side uh, to the uh, receiver side so you can power the receiver now you can connect the u back to the left side or the right side either side but you will have to share one cable because unfortunately KK board doesn't power everything together so you will have to share one cable so you will have to share the power between two sides okay so to power the servos and the receiver through the single U back, you will have to have one bridge. So basically, this is a bridge cable to bridge between both sides and distribute the power. All right. Now, let's power it on and see how it goes. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, 4S battery, bam. And what do you know? Your KK board is on. And it's showing error at the moment. Self-leveling is off. But all these things can be done after we configure the uh, flight controller. So let's move on to the flight controller configuration now.
Alrighty people, let's start with the KK board configuration. Alright, so Bismillahirrahmanirrahim, I'm gonna power it on. Now the first thing we're gonna do is choose the layout of the uh, motors or our aircraft. So I'm gonna go, let me just focus more so you can see it clearly. Alright, I'm gonna go leave the PI editor, everything stick scaling basically we have to do a lot of settings uh, gonna go directly to motor layout load motor layout okay so click on it so it says single copter right here you will need the uh, dual copter right down there the third option dual copter okay and say yes okay now it says motor 2 and motor 1 they're all spinning in clockwise directions yes you can always spin them both of them in clockwise direction but I would suggest left is clockwise right is counterclockwise and it will work okay so let's double check next uh, that is your output 1 is motor output 2 is motor output 3 is servo output 4 is servo once again remember write ESE to output 1 that is from motor 1 motor 2 left ESC to output 2 right servo to output 3 left servo to output 4 okay done so go back and your dual copter is done okay just double check yes done now we are in dual copter mode just to double check show motor layout so it's showing you just double checking here all right good now that you have done this next is ACC accelerometer calibration for which for which I want you to have your aircraft leveled so this is very important step and you need to make sure that your machine is properly you know sitting leveled all right so once i made sure it's leveled the way i want all right i am going to go ahead and click on accelerometer calibration click it says place the aircraft on a level surface all right that's what it is and i will click again calibrating and everything is okay so I will click on continue calibration succeeded continue and you're back here next I'm gonna quickly set the mode settings link pitch and roll make it no you don't want to link pitch and roll because because you need to add aggressive pitch uh, PIDs you don't want that to be on roll side or your, heli or your quadcopter will do oscillation on the roll side so pitch side is very important because these are very CG sensitive aircraft all right okay done make it no go to self leveling and keep it always because we want it to always be in self leveling mode okay after that we have auto disarm yes channel map no loss model alarm yes well if you have an alarm activated added then it's the thing otherwise not okay go back done this is done right here next we're gonna go stick scaling all right here I will have to have a stick scaling set and I will show you my settings After stick scaling, go to MISC setting 1, minimum throttle 10, everything looks okay, don't do anything here. MISC setting 2, no need to do anything because board is not doing any offset kind of thing. MISC setting 3, servos on arm, yes, otherwise just keep it no, you know, servos will always be armed, right? Self-level settings, here you can have P gain and P limit. 
So I will show you my settings. Please follow these. Sensor test, leave it. Sensor maximum, leave it. Calibration, done it. Uh, mixer editor. Okay, this is very important. This is where we have to do some settings. So let me show you my mixer editor settings. All right, now that the mixer editor settings are done, okay, everything is done, we are going to come down to, uh, one moment, endpoint limits, I think we don't need, we'll just leave it to the 100, all right? Now, it's time to play with the PIDs. Yes, baby, so we're gonna come to the PID editor. So here you have roll aileron PIDs, okay? You have pitch, elevator PIDs and you have your PIDs so these three you have to do and you have to play a lot with these okay especially you have to play a lot on pitch elevator side P gain P limit I gain I limit all right so let me show you my PID settings that are actually working so far and you can f follow those Back quick, the in the dirty south ain't no one slick.